what is going on guys we are back with episode four of my witchery mod tutorial series and today we're going to be going over circle magic now circle magic is extremely important to witchery and it can range from being extremely simple to extremely complicated and it can be used to benefit you and to hurt others so before we can jump into all the cool things you can do with circle magic we first need to learn about the circles you can make and what you can make them with so there's four different types of chalk there is ritual chalk there's golden chalk, there's otherware chalk, and there's infernal chalk. Now, golden chalk is only used to make what is known as the heart glyph, and that's going to be used in the very center of your circle magic. The ritual chalk is what you're probably going to start out with. It's extremely simple rituals, and then you'll move to the otherware chalk and the infernal chalk after that. Now, there's also three different types of circles, three different sizes, and I'm going to list them in the radius or the diameter that they have. The first is a 7x7, seven seven. as you can see here, that's the first circle we have, so it's got a diameter of 7. The other one, and I'll go up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better, is an 11x11, 11 11, so it's got a radius of 11. And then the biggest one you can have is a 15x15, 15 15, so a, or a diameter of 15. So it's pretty simple to make, and uh, I'll show you guys like a little bit that will help you with that later. Uh, but for now, we're going to go over how to actually make the chalk. So the easiest one to make is just going to be the regular ritual chalk, and that's what you're going to have to start out with. So it takes six wood ash, which you should have a bunch of after you are using the witch's oven, and then gypsum, which is really easy to create in the distillery, and tier of the goddess, which is also really easy to create in the distillery, and that is going to give you two ritual chalk. And you're going to want to create a lot of this because you're going to use the ritual chalk to make all the other tiers of chalk. So now you're obviously going to need some golden chalk. So you're going to take one thing of ritual chalk, three gold nuggets, two dandelion yellows, and one thing of redstone, and that will give you one golden chalk. And you won't need that much golden chalk. You probably only need one of these because you're only going to have to use one per circle that you make, and you also aren't going to have to make that many circles. Uh, the next one is going to be otherware chalk, and it's going to take two ritual chalks, two lapis lazuli, two water artichokes and an ender pearl and that's going to make you two other wear chalk uh... you don't need to stock up in as much of this but i would still get a decent amount uh... the only reason you were going to stock up a lot on the regular witch real chalk was because you're going to need it to make these two so you know two to four of these will be fine uh... same with the infernal chalk it's also pretty simple to make it's also going to use ember moss which much like the water artichoke is a witchery plant that you need to get specifically through using mutandus and then there's going to be rose pe rose red in the place of the dandelion yellow, the blaze powder in the place of the ender pearl, and two ritual chalks just like before, and that will also give you two infernal chalk. Now, one thing that can really help you guys out with this, before you jump into what you want to do and decide, you can make the uh, witcher or the witchcraft circle magic book. Now, this may seem stupid, but it's actually extremely helpful because you can use it on the go wherever you need. You don't need to pull up a web page or a tutorial or anything, and it's extremely specific, and it's really easy to make. All you need is one book, a belladonna flower, ink sack, and a feather, and then a whiff of magic. And uh, you'll be surprised with how useful this is. I'll show you guys a little bit of it. Uh, it goes over all the stuff I just went over, and it tells you about the different sizes that you can have. It actually gives a little... Uh, display of what they look like and it also color codes the different types of chalk so you have the ritual is gray otherware is purple and infernal is red it also actually gives a little bit of a written tutorial on what you can do uh, and how you actually go about activating the circles and all that good stuff and if you click on these little tabs on the right it brings you two different sections so these are all based off of what they actually do and you can see here that it'll show you different circle sizes and there's more complicated circles like this for the more complicated curses and uh... and different things that you can do summoning curses all that good stuff uh... but for today we're not going to get into extremely complicated stuff like that we're just going to stick to the basic basics and i actually am probably going to have to upgrade the range on this in a second uh... but for now we can start out and i'm going to show you guys how you can actually pull a ritual circle into a talisman so that you can use it on the go and you can move it around now if you look in the book that's one of the first ones you can look at the rite of binding pulls the circle into the talisman takes one circle talisman one redstone 
and then a thousand altar power. Now I upgraded this altar a little bit so we have enough to do all the things we're going to do today. And these are just graspers, which are also witchery plants, and they'll basically hold on to things that you need. Uh, they're not essential. You can just throw things in here by getting it out of your inventory. Um, but for now, we can use these. It makes it a little bit more uh, simple, I guess. And all you have to do once you have everything set is just right-click on the heart glyph, and you'll see the little particle effects. And boom, there we go. It takes up all the circle, and it puts in the talisman. Now, this can be done with any circle. You can do it with any type of circle, any setup you want, and it'll bind it to the talisman. So now I'm going to set up what we're going to be doing next, and that is going to be making an enchanted broom. So if we come over here, we can find the center where we need the heart glyph, and we can just right click, and poof, there it goes. It puts it down for us. So that is phenomenal. And now we have what we need to make our enchanted broom. But we also need to make it nighttime first to make the enchanted broom. So there are actually different... Uh, circle magic things that you can do to make it nighttime, to make a thunderstorm, to make it rain. So for this one it just takes a stone axe and quick lime and then you can right click. Huh. Oh, it's because it's not completed. That is my bad guys. I guess I accidentally sweep that up. Okay. So here we go. Get a little bit more over there too. And it should make it nighttime. And there we go. Okay guys, so now that it's nighttime, we have everything set. The altar has its power back, and we are ready to get going. So we have everything we need, the broom, the flying ointment, a 7x7 seven seven circle of ritual chalk, and an 11x11 11 11 circle of ritual chalk. So all we gotta do is right click on the heart glyph, it's gonna take them both in, and an enchanted broom. And that's all you gotta do guys. Then we can fly away into the night time. So I hope this gave you a good overview of Circle Magic, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to post it in the comments. If you have any feedback or you want to uh, tell me what you want to see in the future episodes, feel free to also post that in the comments. And feel free to subscribe if you want to see my future tutorials, as I will be putting them out every other day. Now, be aware, guys, that I am going away for four days for the 4th of July. And so I do not have any scheduled uploads to do. Unfortunately, I said I was going to, but I didn't have enough time. But I will post the minute I get back, so I apologize once again, and I hope you guys can live without a tutorial for one day. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you later.